Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing another everyday office video, and this is Automatic Monday. I'm gonna show you how we can use a tool that either comes in Excel or you can add it to Excel to automatically handle all kinds of problems. But in this session, we're talking about European format dates. If you wanna see how to fix this, stick around till after the logo. So if I had this date in Excel already, Excel might properly translate this date over to an American format date for me and handle it with no problem. But as you can see here, this is not an Excel file. This is a CSV file, and when things like this happen, we run into real problems. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if you have Office 365, Excel 2016, or Excel 2019, you have a tool called Power Query that is absolutely magic. If you don't have one of those versions of Excel, I want you to go to the internet right now. I want you to go to this website from Microsoft and get Power Query for Excel. Get it right now. You will have a Power Query tab in your Excel spreadsheet and it will give you magical tools. Let me show you how it's done. So as you can see here, we have this date. Uh, the day comes first, then the month, then the year. That's gonna be a problem. And we can see this is a problem when we come in here to the spreadsheet, or excuse me, the CSV file, double click on it, and when it opens up, you can see a column full of information right here where Excel is only every once in a while uh, successful at converting things into dates. Why is that? It's because Excel looks at these dates and it goes, well, 5-11-1996, I get that one. 4-5-1993, I get this one, so these are recognized as dates. But anything that says 26-07-2009, Excel has no idea what you're talking about here. Because I'm using a system set up for American dates, and these dates are coming in in from European formats. And this one right here is actually supposed to be November 5th. And this one is supposed to be May 4th. And this one is supposed to be February 9th. But the problem is that since they're all these single digits and things, Excel thinks they might be uh, <laughs> the 11th of May, the 5th of April, and the 2nd of September. So watch how quickly and easily Power Query gets you to a solution to this problem. Item number one, if you have Excel 2016, 2019, or Office 365 like I do, go to your Data tab at the top of your screen, go to Get Data, and launch the Power Query Editor. If you have one of the earlier versions and you went to the website I told you to go to, go ahead and go to the Power Query tab and launch the Power Query Editor from there. You'll have the same thing I do when you get there. So you launch your Power Query Editor, and over on the far right, you'll see that we can get data from other places. And these could be other Excel files, they could be CSV files, they could be a lot of different places. In this scenario, we're talking about CSV files. So I click on text or CSV file from this little drop-down menu. And I go look at my folder and I see my European dates CSV. Go ahead and click on the link down below if you want to download this CSV file so you can do the same thing I'm doing. And when you click on import, Excel, excuse me, Power Query will look at it and go, ugh, there's a lot of garbage going on here, right? So I click OK and it loads that garbage into Power Query. Notice that it's not in the spreadsheet yet, right? It's just in this Power Query editor. Now I'm gonna talk a lot more about Power Query in the coming videos, but for right now, what you need to know is that this is a middle space before the data gets into Excel where you can do a lot of fixes with almost no effort at all. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Item number one. If you look at column two right here, you see a lot of empty entries. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the drop down menu here and say that if there is a blank entry in this column, I don't wanna see it. I just uncheck that checkbox and click okay. And now only the entries that have something filled in there still show up. Item number two, system number, extension, in-service date, these should be the headers. So right up here on the home tab, I have use first row as headers, and that puts it all right up there at the top. 
but this is where we're going right here. You see how this in service state thinks it's an ABC column? It's just text because Power Query looked at this column and didn't know what to do with it. But watch how fast and easy this is. I click the little ABC in the top left hand corner of this column. I don't go to date because if I went to date, it would try to do the same Excel conversion that it did just a moment ago. Instead, we say, okay, it's a date, but it's a date in a specific locale. So I click on using locale right here, and then I switch from text over to date, and I switch locale over to English from the United Kingdom. And that recognizes my dates appropriately. I click OK. And just like that, every single date magically gets accepted the way it is. I finish off by clicking on close and load, which populates this into my spreadsheet. And just like that, I have an in-service date column that properly acknowledges every single date in the column.